everyone. Hope you're all doing well as promised. So I'm going to show you how I make my new milk. Very easy and I'll tell you what you need. You need some oats, you need some almonds, and you need this guys. Organic Traditions Coconut Milk Powder. You can use, this is the um, unsweetened, you can use other brands. I prefer not to because I find this one makes the best milk. The other ones seem to make like curls in it. I'm not sure if it's fatty deposits, but your milk never looks creamy. It always looks like there's these little, little curls in it. So I find this is the best one to make the milk that I'm using right now. And it is such a beautiful milk. You need very little and your coffee just whitens up in no time at all. And this is how I do it. Very simple. We're going to use a whole cup of almonds. These are not soaked. These are blanched, so you don't really have to soak them. You can if you want to, but I do not soak them when I'm making my milk. So one cup of almonds. And to this, we're going to put just a little pinch, just a little pinch of salt. And we're going to use one it's a little clumpy guys so two three this I do pretty much level and now I'm going to add water up to four cups with the nuts already in okay I do keep a little water on the side and I'll show you why later. So we're going to blend this up. Okay, now we're going to add our oats. But you know about oats, right? If you over process oats, you're going to get a very gummy, uh, a very mucousy milk. And you don't want that. So you cannot process your oats too long, guys. Half a cup of oats. I'm using quick oats. And I'm going to count to 25, but I'm going to count quickly. So that would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You're not going to count slowly. Otherwise, your oats are going to get very mucousy. Here we go. And now we're going to strain her. Beautiful, beautiful. Mm, I can almost taste it. It's really, really good. Okay. And I always use uh, the sewn part in because if I use it the inside in, then all the stuff gets stuck in the seam and I'm not crazy about that. So I reverse it and put the in out. There we go. And the out in. Okay, I'm going to show you, there's still stuff in there, I'm just going to put a little bit of water, just give it a good, try and get everything off the sides as much as you can, and then back into my bag. Okay, that's the best I can do. And that's it, and now... You milk your bag. We don't milk cows, we milk bags. It takes two seconds to make milk. You really, it doesn't take a long time. And when you make it yourself, you know what goes in it, right? My daughter's favorite milk.
Now this is the, the amount of pulp I use when I make my scones and by now you should already have a recipe up on how I make scones using milk pulp. So get as much of it out and you see how this milk is not goopy at all because of the, uh, the oats weren't over processed. That's something you don't want to do is over process those oats otherwise you're going to have a very slimy milk. Now, I've made all kinds of milk recipes, and I find this one to be the best one so far. This is the one that my daughter keeps asking for. She goes, Ma, can you make some more of that milk? Beautiful. Look at that. When you've got some... All this goodness here, why would we want to harm or take from an animal when she could give it to her babies? Look at this. Try and get as much out of it. And if there's a little bit of milk left in your pulp, that's okay too because it goes into your scones. Okay, so there's my nut bag. There's my beautiful milk. Isn't she beautiful? And she tastes fantastic. Okay, guys, now at this point, if you want, you can use a little bit of xanthan gum. What that does is doesn't let your milk separate, but I give it a good shake. But it's just an extra step that really I don't need to do, so I'm not worried about uh, uh, my xanthan gum. Um, but if you want to, uh, I say go ahead and use that extra step by putting just an eight of a teaspoon of xanthan gum in your milk if you want to you don't have to I don't think you need it give your bottle a good shake and you're ready to go I use an old kombucha bottle and we're gonna pour us some milk look at the richness of that milk guys it almost tastes like the real thing. It's kind of scary. Now, if you want your milk even thicker, use less water. I say use three cups. If you want your milk um, more diluted, then use less. I mean, use more water. Okay. Look how beautiful that milk is. Now I'm going to show you when I pour a coffee. I have my coffee waiting for me. And watch this magic. Boom. How beautiful is this cup of coffee and took no time at all to make guys so easy peasy it really doesn't take long the milk is delicious it stays it stays milky it doesn't even you know how some milks you know how some milks just settle uh, this one doesn't and I use very little milk I didn't use I don't like putting I usually drink my coffee black but I use just a little bit of milk to make this uh, coffee but that's how easy it is to make this delicious milk and remember guys no animals were harmed to make this uh, to make this milk a cow could give her milk to her babies 
and you can squeeze some delicious nuts and make milk for yourself. Stay kind, stay beautiful, and always make your food with love and intention, and it always comes out perfect, guys. So I'm going to say I love you, and guess what, guys? I'm going to see you in my next video. For more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to Connie's Rawsome Kitchen. Give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends.